What's going on, y'all? You know, I was telling you about that DOT Blitz. Yeah, they got me. I have been in Oregon right now. Pulled over the way station. I'm just waiting on uh, the examiner to come back with my paperwork. And I'll be out of here. Golly, I just put a video out talking about it. What's up, y'all? Hey, man, I'm over here at the uh, Seven Feathers uh, Indian Casino and Resort. Pulling over real quick to take my 30, but uh, just want to make this quick video. Just got out of um, doing my inspection, and everything went good. Only thing, man, they found I didn't have a copy of my Oregon um, receipt, permit receipt. I got every other receipt or license or permit in there. I just had a one for Oregon, so I had the company send me one, and I'm about to pick it up over here at the fax machine. Guy said, man, that could be a $435 ticket. He gave me a warning. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and get that and uh, put it in my book, in my permit book, licensing book, and uh, and I'll bring back a uh, another video here in a little bit, all right? What's up, y'all? Man, just a little update on... Um, on uh, my inspection um, the other day. In my last video, I said um, I didn't have a receipt. It was the Oregon DOT um, weight receipt. The one I had in my book, in my license permit book, was it was expired. Now, what happened was when I was in Fontana, I was like, let me go. This was like months back. I was like, let me go inside and get all, make sure I got all updated receipts and permits and license in my book. Because I don't want to get pulled over, some inspection, then I get jacked up because my stuff is wrong. Man, you know how important that is? Anyway, I grabbed everything. I mean, from the top, from the front, all the way to the end. I grabbed every paper. And the, um, the, the guy that was like, these are all new 2017. He said, just get one of each, and then you can go back in and update your book. I was like, okay, cool. And then you know how you're going through your book? you put putting a new one, throwing it out, putting a new one, throwing it out. I knew I grabbed that Oregon um, weight permit because I go into Oregon. For some reason, I ain't have it. And I went through every paper in there, man. I went through, I had, I had every one of them. All, all of them. The dude, the cool thing, the dude went through the book, and he was like, "Yeah, man, your your book is current. That's the this is the only one that you missing." And I was like, "What?" He said, "Yep." Yeah. And then he was like, "You know, like I said in the previous video, he's like, this is a four hundred and thirty five dollar ticket." He said, "But I'm gonna let you." Um, he said, "I'm just gonna give you the warning," and he was like, "Not to mention when I pulled up your um, information, nights." Nice, registration and nice license it shows that night have it he said so i know they got it it's just a matter of i see you got all the rest of them he said it's just a matter of this one for some reason you didn't have it so he gave me a warning so i called my dm i asked my dm i said hey man can you send me the oregon um, dot um wait permit you know i said mine expired and um and i need it man you know i don't want to be rolling rolling without it so DM good dude as he is, he turned right back around, he faxed it to the um, Seven Feathers, um, and I walked in there, 25 cents, of course for the fax, and I got it, put it in my book, and updated it, and, I, and I'm good, I'm, I'm good, I'm good now, but let me tell y'all man, listen, look, look man, listen, I was there, and I think I was like the first one pulled in, behind me came like a prime dude and um i think he had to add another strap to his low flatbed dude then was another dude came by he had an old truck okay let me tell you something man they know they stuff man i mean they know they stuff i heard a dude going through a um i heard a dude going through an air brake system check right you know until your, you know, you get your brakes and your brakes to your system, your uh, both of your tanks die out. You either get the early warning buzzer or the light indicator, right? Dude went through the air brake system check. I can hear it. I'm like, good Jesus. And um, 
I mean, they they own their game, man. I mean, they know their stuff, right? And um, dude told me, he said, he came over to my truck. He said, hey, man, you would have like a big ratchet or wrench or something. I said, nah, I said, that's all I got, man, right here. He was like, man, they put me out of um, service because a bolt was loose. They put his truck out of service on the spot right there because a bolt was loose. I don't know what boat he was talking about. I don't know. Obviously, they found something to be pretty extensive. And I tell you, where we was at, wasn't no stores around there. So if he, so if he called an Uber, and he had to go back the other direction, man, he paid. Man, he paid. He had to pay. But yeah, man. It, but other than that, everything worked out good, man. And uh, and I'm I'm good, man. I got you know I got all my stuff. And oh yeah, check this out. I asked the dude. I said, do you need a, do you need to see a copy of my um my medical um certificate my small one the one you keep in your um your wallet um or my um medical long form he said no nope. he said that's all in the system now he said once i pull up your license and everything he said i can see everything right there if it's current or out date i'll let okay dokie now so i still keep mine in my wallet i still got my long form up there but i just wanted to throw that out there other than that man everything went good and um I'm over here at the uh, pilot off of exit 619 over in, um, I, for, I can't even say the name of this place, uh, um, 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 Umbrilla near Reading. I decided just to go ahead and shut down, man, and clean up, and uh, my load, man, don't deliver until, um, until Monday morning. I got another load, man, that don't deliver, man, until Monday. I ain't home. I ain't close enough to be home. I mean, I'm a long way, man, from uh, from Fontana. So, oh well. I'll just get up in the morning, and I'll run probably another 400. I got 767 to go. Uh, total total was 819 miles. I'm headed to uh, Spokane Valley, Washington. So, but just wanted to give you guys a little update, man, on what's going on. I get going in the morning, probably run another 400 miles, shut down, wake up Sunday morning, run uh, the remainder of the miles. That's going to put me right there at the door for um, for for, uh, for my Monday delivery. Or I may just run hard tomorrow and run, sh run a short run Sunday. And just wanted to give you an update, man. I, I was talking about the uh, DOT Blitz, man, and I asked the inspector, I said, is this a part of the DOT Blitz inspection? He was like, yeah, he said, but, you know, we, we hold inspections uh, periodically. All right, so take your inspections uh, seriously. Make sure you have all your stuff available. If you don't have it, pull over, man, at your local shop or your local office or something, and make sure your truck is current. All right, talk to you later. Bye. It's too bad, it's too bad, baby. But I gotta face reality